Yo, what is up, everyone? It's your freaking boy, your dog, and your whole me all in one today. Ryan Mahalik here, and today we are going to be using the support Chinook upgrade on the heli, and we're going to be seeing how many of these we can get in a single game. Can we get like 3,000 lives? Because you can get an insane amount of lives through the crates. So, yeah, we're going to be spamming it all over the map and having some fun with it. So, yeah, let's get into it, guys. All right, here we freaking go. Power Dino 1826. Map is mine. So, this is exactly the map we're looking for, guys, because. This is an absolutely amazing heli map. The amount of helis we can fit on this map is actually absolutely insane. So we're going to be going Dartling Super and um, Heli here instead of Farm. So yeah, this should be a fun one. Really, really good heli map here. So I'm kind of I'm kind of looking forward to this one. This should be a really good one. Wonder what my boy Power Dino is going to go. He does have the Ceramic Crucible badge from last season. So we've got to look out. We've got to look out. He's a CC player, guys. He's probably been watching too much Bull Tricks lately. So, all right. Um, game plan is going to be, we're going to be max ecoing here pretty much the whole time. And then uh, the reserve money will be going into heli farms later in the game. So it looks like they're going to start with their dartling as well. I'll do the exact same spot. Pretty much just mirrored over there. The two dartlings are sitting next to each other like like brothers. Looking pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. Looking pretty darn cute. And yeah, I don't know if it's good for me to anti-stall or stall here, so I'm kind of just going to keep my Dartling placed like in the diagon against the diagonal and just see how that goes. Also, place my Oban here round one just to get the XP going. Um, this is kind of where I like to place my Oban because I said this in previous videos, but just in case you're new, just in case you're new, um, you pretty much want your Oban to be in a good spot for all of your Super Monkeys, right? Because the Oban will be buffing the Super Monkeys later in the game. And so, like, if you look at its range, for example, all these spots inside of its range would be pretty good placements for me to place a Super Monkey later in the game. So that's kind of what you got to think about when you place your Oban. That's what you got to think about, guys, you know? Um, also, if you guys freaking enjoy today's video at any point, any point throughout the video, please consider tapping that subscribe button real quick. I would appreciate that an absolute ton because we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and we are actually really really close guys we're almost we're about 500 off so um, that's gonna be super hype and only a small percentage of you guys who watch my videos are actually subscribed so come on we can get a higher percentage than that I mean it's kind of despicable but looks like he's going open as well so that's pretty much what you expect Oban's definitely um the best hero right now in my opinion it's just so good like it buffs your magic monkeys it has the trees which is absolutely goaded I mean, what what really competes with it, you know? The other heroes, I mean, like, Gwen is decent early game, but then the late game, it kind of doesn't really help you much. Quincy is just kind of bad altogether. Striker Jones is kind of cool, but still not the best. But yeah. Oban pretty much just outclasses everything else, in my opinion. Ooh, and they actually are going heli. That's actually really interesting. Um, And the really interesting part is also the fact that they're going heli early. Like... Normally, you want to wait to place your heli later in the game because it's not a very good early game tower, actually. Um, it's not a very good early game. The popping power on the heli is actually kind of um, kind of laughable. They definitely need to buff its popping power with some of the upgrades, in my opinion. So we are basically only going to be using heli as a farm and use it for the Moab shove throughout this game for the most part because the other upgrades aren't the best on it. They aren't the best, guys. But it honestly, it looks like he's handling pretty well here. But I don't know, mate. Did they? Did he go for his powerful darts and his dartling here, or did he? Is he just handling with the heli? I can't really tell. Can't really tell here, lads. Another really good part about having the heli is the fact that um we can leak early game and we'll be fine, because obviously we're just gonna get our lives back. So you don't have to worry about sticking no lives lost here, which is really really nice. So we're actually forcing a lot of defense on his side here. This is actually phenomenal. You love to see that. And we're getting a lot of eco with it. So, you know, two birds with one stone right there, guys. Forcing defense and getting eco. That's what you like to see. All right, that's all the eco I'm going to do. I can't over eco, and I may have already. Because I need to afford a hydropod in round 11, which is always um kind of expensive. But, you know, that's what you got to do when you have Darling. So, yeah. Place you up here. Just gonna get the faster barrel spin. Got to make sure. So this one sells for 16.45, and the hydropods cost 52.50. So that means doing some quick math in my head, we need 3,605 dollars to afford my hydropods. So I think I'll be good in round 11. I'd imagine I'll be good, but we'll have to wait and see. I like to send space leads on round 10, just because these are really effective eco. It costs 60 dollars for four eco, so it's really um cost-effective send right there. So, always like to send leads there. 
and we do end up affording it beautiful next game plan is i'm going to be sending yellows and then um once the i start saving up money the leftover money will go towards helis pretty much leftover money will go towards helis and we'll be vibing <clears throat> I'm guessing that he's going to do a similar thing. He's sending green balloons, but he, they have heli as well. So, um, my guess would be that they want to start building up heli farms as well. Is what would make sense to me. That's what would make sense, you know? Heli farms are pretty cool. And heli farms, believe it or not, are actually more efficient than a sniper farm. Like, so, a heli farm, the ability gives you $400 every 60 seconds. So it's actually equivalent um, in that regard. It's not $4,000 every 60 seconds, my bad. So it's actually equivalent to 400 eco. A sniper farm gives you $2,000 every 40 seconds. So that's equivalent to 300 eco. And for the price of the heli, the heli is only a little bit more expensive than a sniper farm. So it's actually a more cost effective um, ability farm than a sniper farm. So it's a little known fact there. Heli farms are actually more cost effective. But, um, most people prefer sniper farms for the obvious reasons. You can fit a lot more sniper farms. Snipers are a better defensive tower. Um, yeah, but, you know, heli farms are definitely fun. Heli farms are definitely fun here. I'm probably going to go for my heli. Can I fit one up here? Ooh, I can. I'm probably going to place you up here. That'd actually be pretty cool. It's hidden up here in the top with the jungle vines. Yes, sir. Okay. And yeah. If he does send me a big mob brush, I can just upgrade this to a um, mob shove. And then if he doesn't, I'll just upgrade it to a um, heli farm later in the game. But yeah, I think my game plan is I'm just going to continue to eco until I can't send yellows anymore. Once I can't send yellows anymore, then I'll just put all my money that I get into um, heli farms. Just because yellow eco is actually pretty darn efficient. But um, yeah, that's going to be my game plan. And I think I need, when I have just a heli down, I think I need a, like 10,500, believe it or correct me if i'm wrong to afford my heli farm so we have to save up quite a bit of money here but once we get our heli farm up we'll be getting some nice darn income we'll be getting some nice income so i'm gonna enjoy that <clears throat> and i think that they're doing a similar thing do they have a mob shove already or is, i think that's a mob shove they got it up for no reason because i didn't send them a mob so kind of a waste on of money on mr power dino 1826's end right there he didn't need to get that up don't get up defense that you don't need to get up, guys. Is is something that I one of my pieces of advice right here. Alright, so we got up our heli farm. Looking pretty nice there. And you want to be able to use the ability here in a little bit. That'll give me four thousand dollars every single use. So it does stack up, guys. It does stack up very, very well. And there's four thousand dollars. Plus fifteen lives as well. Look at that. Plus fifteen lives. So we're at 165 now. So that's actually pretty cute. Oh, I didn't even realize they did leak. So, um, if they actually don't use their life crate ability this game, um, then we actually will just take the dub. We'll take the dub. So, that will be exciting. Also, probably should go for my laser shock here just to handle with this Moab. Okay, we're Gucci. Another great thing about the heli farms, believe it or not, is this, um, they have a downdraft ability to them, so that actually helps out a lot against balloon rushes and like Moab class, the balloons that come out of mobs and stuff throughout the game. The fact that um, it will blow back balloons for you. You'd love to see that. But yeah, let's see how much lives we can get throughout this game. That'd actually be really cool. So, we have up two heli farms right now. I'm going to stop ecoing at this point, by the way. So, all my money is just going to be going to heli farms. And I want to place these as close together as possible and as high as possible up here. So, let's be careful with my placement. Get another heli down. You can actually place helis really close together. Like the hitbox on them is not actually as big as Battles 1, I don't think. Or at least compared to farms. Compared to farms, you could fit a lot more helis, in my opinion. From what I've seen. Okay, it looks like they are gonna send me a ZOMG. So let's actually get up a um a dark knight here. And we'll get you up to a plasma, and that should be able to handle, I think. A Plasma Dark Knight should be able to handle when I if I boost as well, which I'm going to boost. I will end up boosting this. Maybe I go for a Rocket Storm as well. That probably is probably the best play. Yeah, I should probably go for a Rocket Storm.
Uh, I actually don't, I don't think I needed the Rocket Storm there, to be honest. I think that was probably an over-defend. But, either way, we defended, and that's really what matters. We defended, and that's what matters. Alright, get another support Chinook. Can I not fit another one there? Ooh, I can. I can. I swear I saw it. There we go. Awesome. Look at all those helis. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna be getting so many lives here. I don't know why he's not using the um, crates right now. The crates are so much better than just straight up ecoing at this point. Cause you can, it snowballs is the thing. Like building up heli farm snowballs. Maybe he just doesn't have the upgrade unlocked or something, but they do have super monkey in their loadout. So we are bringing the same loadout all together. So that's nice to see. They do have super monkey. But yeah, look how many helis I have right now. And it's, it's just, we're building them at an increasing rate, which is really cool there. All right, I, I should probably use you. Let's put you on strong in case he sends me a um, DDT rush. I need to be ready for that. Because I don't want to choke to anything right here. Definitely don't want to choke to stuff. That would be really unfortunate if I did. But we have a lot of helis right now. Let me count them. Let's get a heli check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 so far. So 13 times 400, because it gives 400 eco, which would mean that is about 7,200 eco. And I just got up another one, so 7,600. And if I get up another one, that's 8,000 eco in heli farms. And then obviously I have 2,000 normal eco as well. So I have over 10,000 combined eco right now with my helis, guys. Over 10,000 combined eco, if you just include my heli farms, which is actually kind of nuts to think about. Um, I don't know if I needed a boost there. I actually got kind of scared. I got kind of scared. I didn't want to choke or sell helis because I'm trying to get as much many heli farms as possible here. So I just, I boosted that. I just got one more Dark Knight just to be safe. But I still have one boost left. So I'm, I'm still vibing. I'm still vibing at the end of the day. But yeah, that was a bit scary. Not going to lie. I was a bit scared there. Can I not fit another heli? Ooh, I don't think I can fit another heli down there. That's unfortunate. Maybe if I placed them a little bit better, a little bit more precise, I would have been able to fit a heli down there. But um, it appears in this instance I can't, which is obviously not ideal. All right, let's use you trees. Keep building these. Dude, we have so many helis right now. It's actually nuts. If they do end up sending me a bad balloon, I need to be ready. Doesn't appear they are at the moment, which is good for me. Because that means I can just build up more heli farms and have more fun spamming the abilities. Alright, get up another one right here. Dude, we're doing good, we're doing good. Come on. The amount of money we're making by these is actually kind of nuts as well. Plus I can sell, all, if I need to, I can micro sell all of these and I'll get so much money from that as well. Which will be phenomenal. Can I not fit one right there? I swear I can. Is this startling in the way? I can fit one over there as well. Alright, the whole map is full basically now. I don't think I can fit any more. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's play some. Another super monkey right there. I'm actually going to place my mad down here. I think this is going to be a slightly better placement for my mad. Where it's going to be... I'm not going to miss as many shots with it down here. So, that's kind of my thought process with it. I don't want to be missing shots. So, I'm going to place it right there. And it looks like he is going to go for a bad rush me against me here.
Let's sell a few more of these. Let's get up a Sun Avatar. No way, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. No, I clutched up, dude. The heli lives. The heli lives literally saved me there. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. I didn't want to boost or anything. I thought I would have been fine there. I definitely. I didn't want to boost. I still have my boost left. That's actually amazing. The heli farms literally clutched up for me there. Wow. That was insanely close. Oh my gosh, I'm goaded. Crap, I need to target my Darthling, dude. Target my Mad here. Alright, that's, um... Alright, let's do this. Let's use you, let's use you. Am I good? Oh, it looks like I'm good, oh my gosh, dude. It's so hard to see what's going on sometimes. It's so hard to see what's going on. Okay, so it's my helis again. I'm gonna win on round 40 is the thing. I'll win on round 40 because um, I'll have the life advantage and he hasn't been heli farming. So there's no point for me to rush. I mean, I could win with a rush, but it's more fun for me to defend. You know? Let's get our lives back up. Oh, this isn't even the balloon exclusion zone. I thought this was a, be a bez the whole time. That's actually um a rip on my part. But let's see how many lives we can end up getting. Because I'm at like 2,000 right now. I did lose like a couple hundred from the rush, which was funny. But um, we're still alive. I should probably tar target all these on strong. Yeah, target all those and strong. Get my mad ability going. All right, let's get another dark champ up. I think I popped. Okay, I popped the B, the bad layer. Okay, we're actually popping the bad layer pretty well here. Look at that. That was a good. That was a good defend. That was a really good defend. Two thousand five hundred lives. Can we hit three thousand? Oh, he actually surrenders. Wow. GGS, dude. That was an insane game, actually. Wow. The heli farm's really fun. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a subscription. As always, Ryan Hawk out. Peace, lads.